attended segregated schools, graduated from Camden Academy High School in Alabama. Uh, from there, I matriculated at Talladega College in Alabama, uh, graduating with a degree in history, BA degree in history, in 1971. Uh, and in the fall of 1971, I became a student at Crozer Theological Seminary in Rochester, New York. It had recently moved there from Chester, Pennsylvania. And I received the MA and the MDiv degree at Crozer Seminary and the PhD degree from Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois. And since that time, 1980, I received the PhD degree. I've been writing, studying, doing research on the life of Martin Luther King Jr. And up to this point, I've authored six books on King, edited two, uh, co-edited two, and co-authored two. Mm for a total of 12 books. So I've devoted uh, much of my uh, academic life, uh, not only to teaching, but to writing about Dr. King. Now, the book that you have now, Dr. Uh, Baldwin, uh, deals with Dr. Martin Luther King from a different perspective entirely. Why don't you make some statements about that book, and then we'll come back and we'll allow you to uh, elaborate on it uh, yes. after this first segment. I wrote the book because we, I think, have lost a sense of the ordinary person, the human being that was Martin Luther King, Jr. Good. Uh, every year, uh, third Monday in January, we celebrate his birthday. And I, but I think the ordinary person that was king, the human being that was king, has gotten lost in our annual national celebrations. And I wrote the book to sort of reclaim that ordinary, and Dr. King was an ordinary person on many levels. He was a human being. Uh, I understand the need to create superheroes. Uh, we live in a capitalistic society and so we've created this larger than life figure, uh, this iconic hero, this messianic figure, this superhuman personality. But Dr. King was an ordinary human being. And the book is really about reclaiming the ordinary person, the ordinary human being that was Martin Luther King Jr. You know, I think that uh, even the idea, Dr. Dr. Baldwin, is an inspiration to us all to understand that we don't always start, you didn't always start out as Dr. Lewis Baldwin. There That's was somebody right. that was Lewis Baldwin long before you matriculated in all of those institutions that you've attended. Yeah. And so that's the same thing we're saying about Dr. Martin Luther King, I would imagine. That's that, right. Uh, he was not always uh, delivering that uh, speech, I have a dream, yeah, and yeah. etc. Something about him yeah. before he got to that stage of being able to do that. And this mm -hmm. is what you were saying that this book reveals. This book reveals the very human side. We have this image of the man who made great speeches speeches before thousands of people who led uh, large uh, demonstrations, civil rights campaigns. But what about the man on his knees praying to God, asking for strength and asking for a deliverance? That is the human Martin Luther King Jr. And, and so, Dr. Baum, what we'll do, we're going to take this first commercial break, and then the second segment of eight minutes will allow you to devote that time to talking about the book and the human Martin right. Luther King. And we'll All be right. back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs> 